This is the first video in a new tutorial series I'm going to try out and in this series I'm going to attempt to animate a character and because my modeling skills aren't all that great I've found a software that will make a pretty nice model for me and the software is called Make Human 0.9.1 Release Candidate 1 and the interface for the software is pretty easy. These four widgets will do an awful lot to make a character. And I'm not going to try to do a tutorial on this software, but I'm sure that one could be found online. I will, however, demonstrate exporting a file. There's two kinds of exports we can do. They're found up here in the top of the inter interface. One's called Export Wavefront Object, and one is Export Collada File. And I would recommend the Collada File because it's going to include uh, rigging with the character. And really, once the character is built, it's just pressing on that button, observing the directory it's going to, and pressing Enter. So let's just pretend like I exported that and exit and go in to Blender now. We start off with the default scene, so I'll get rid of the cube. Go into File, Import, Collada 1.4. Navigate to the directory in my document, select the mesh, and press the import and close. It'll take a few moments for the import to come through. Um, in the meantime, I'll say I'm not going to work with the whole model, but I would comment that Make Human makes an incredible model. Um, with all the materials and such put onto it, it becomes a very photorealistic. And this is my model, it's a female one. And like I said, it makes a pretty nice model. Let's have a look at this in side view though. As you can see, the model is lying on its back. So I'm gonna use the A key to select all. The manipulator to rotate it by 90 degrees. Select just the main mesh. Tab into edit mode. <clears throat> the export from Make Human includes all these materials, and these materials are also different parts of the body of this. Um, character. So I'm going to use that to separate the different components of this model. So I'll select the whole model, press P to separate, and separate by material. With that done, I'll go back into object mode. I want to select the entire model. The export has created three scenes, and I would rather only have one. So I'm going to clean that up. I'll select the whole model by pressing the A key and then Control L and I'll make link to scene and I'll make it to the original scene. Then I can delete the other scenes. So I'll delete that and that and that leaves me with the original scene, the model, my lamp and a camera. Now I'm going to start moving the parts that I don't want to use right now and later on I'll name them but for now I'm just going to move them. First off the main body and I'll move that to the last layer. The head move that to the last layer. The eyebrows move that to the last layer the eyelashes and I'll move that to the last layer and finally the tongue and again move that to the last layer okay and 
in between videos, I'm going to go back and name those off of the camera, and I'll name them by the names according to their materials, because each material has a name for each of those objects. Now the next thing I'm going to do is select the main body of the skeleton, the teeth, the eyes, and the iris, and I'm going to move those to another layer. This time I'll move them to a different layer. It's the skeleton that I actually intend to animate. So I'm going to keep it separate. And again, in between videos, I will name all of these parts in accordance with the materials that were used to separate them. And what I'm left with now is the rigging. And the reason I would like to start on the rigging is because I consider that to be the hard part. And if I can't get the rigging working, then, well, there's not a lot of use to doing a heck of a lot to that model if I don't have a rigging to use with it. So I'm going to cut away from my video and check on how much time that I have. And while I'm gone, I'm going to name the bones on my rigging. And I'll be back in just a second with that done. Well, I've completed the naming of all of the parts. I've named the entire rigging and I've went with very specific names um, and assigned left and right assignments as well as numbers for each joints in the finger with again specific names and there's a lot of bones in this rig so having those names is pretty helpful. I've also went through and named the parts of the different meshes we have now. Um, named body, eyebrows, eyelashes, eyes, head, as well as cleaned up the materials as well. Um, each mesh had the entire list of materials and I deleted that and just added the one for the appropriate mesh and material. And now it's time to start looking at, at how to get this um, rig working. And I think the first thing that I'll address in my next video will be the finger joints because they're about the most complicated part the fingers and perhaps I'm not sure if I'm going to do the toes but I might and then there's a couple of additional uh, bones to add to the rigging uh, we'll need a jawbone a couple of bones for the eyes and I'm thinking that because I'm going to do a skeleton that it's probably going to be needed to have some hip bones as well. So we'll look at adding those in. And just play the rest by ear, see how much we can get done. Um, probably not a heck of a lot more than just the hands in the next video. So until then, I'll sign off and come back with another video dealing with this skeleton model and we'll see what we can do to get this guy animated.